Hello everybody, my name is Silas and today I will be doing a complete walkthrough of Submachine 5, The Root, and this is specifically the HD release. This one starts off a bit different in that we have to do these pipes here as an intro. Alright, so as you can see, we start off at this uh, living quarters area right here. We have a notepad that is currently blank. And this room here is actually completely useless for the game, but it's kind of neat to play around a little in. As you can see here... Oh, this is a little harder to click. Gotta get right at the top. But yeah, anyway, these are all empty, but just to show it off. Anyway, now we go down here, unlatch these and go down this hatch here just turn on the computer here and now we see here's the wisdom gem here's just uh, some brief instructions and coordinates and here's a little bit more of a follow-up and as you can see here this is what we have so far and the gist is we need to get the wisdom gems from the root in 552 and put them into a machine in the corridor and that's basically the main goal of this game so you just open this door open this hatch go down here and now you want to go to five five two and if we go down here we find the first secret of the game and so it's just to the left of the portal right here is where you have to click so we just go through here into this hole and be careful that you don't forget this lead casting right here now we just want to unhook this from here and undo this panel and plug this in. That way we have light and we can actually move around here. So if we go down here and just ignore everything here for now and go up these ladders, you can click this if you'd like but it doesn't do anything again. And skip this room for now because we want to go in here and pick up this wrench. You can press these buttons but again there's nothing to them and this just notes that this appears to be from the 1950s. So if we go back here and go back down here, we find a panel, and after we open this up, we find a key, which we are then going to take upstairs. There we go. So if we go up here and go into here, we now have our first cipher plate. And if we go over here, this is our teleporter. So you would usually figure this out through a blind blind jumps basically and try and figure everything out like that. But I've got a uh, I've got a somewhat optimized path here written down and basically all we're going to do first is put this here and because we're going to grab a second cipher plate right now, basically when it's empty, I'm calling it a zero. When it has the one, I'm calling it a one. So this would be zero one. And after we teleport to zero one, we go over here and grab the second cipher plate. We'll be going down this ladder later. We don't have to worry about it now. So now we want to go to coordinate one, two. And as we can see here, this is actually a pretty interesting 3D puzzle. And don't forget to grab this light bulb right here, by the way. You can see it's this one because this one doesn't have a protective cage around it like the other ones do. But as you can see here, we have these three places to look through. And these go in a clockwise direction, so that means that this one will have to be turned three times. So one, two, and three. And as you can see, that one's correct. This one here on the opposite side needs to be done two times, and this one only has to be done one time. So we just have to go one, and then one, two. And now the puzzle is complete, and we get this metal box right here. So now after we return to the portal, our next stop is going to be at coordinate two, zero. Oh, only had to take one out. And we want to go through these hatches here and press the top button to bring up the pressure. The bottom button brings down the pressure, but there's no real reason to push that. 
And even though this one has the pressure up right here, we need to grab the coil from it. So we go here and we go through this bottom one here. And this machine is currently inactive. We'll be using it in just a minute. And this is our end goal to blow this pipe right here. So now if we go here, we want to go to coordinate zero one. And that's because down this ladder right over here is a recharge station. As you can see, charger in L1. And there we go. And now if we go to the side here and move this plate, we have another secret. There we go. And that is two out of five secrets in this game. And the next coordinate we want to go to is actually one zero. And that's because we have to put this coil right here to power something in a different room. And we also have this uh, acid bath right here, as you can see. Not quite sure what that's supposed to be, but either way, we just put this metal cube in here, watch it dissolve into our first wisdom gem. And then we just use this to clear the acid. There we go. And as you can see right here, this is just an empty room. And now that we have that done, our next coordinate will be 0, 2. And this is what we were powering. You don't need to make note of these, thankfully, because this does it for you. And this will make the pipe burst over in the other room, as you can hear. And right to the left of this pipe here, we find another secret. So if we return to the teleporter now, our next room will be 1-0 again. And that is because we need to grab this to get another secret later on. And now we actually want to go back to the starting room. So 0-0. Zero, zero, and we put this right here and that will be the final place this goes in the game you could pick it up again but there's not really any point to so after that we go to room two zero and this is what the coil we just put down charges which is another secret if we go to the left we see that this is blown up and this is actually revealed to be uh the room in the lighthouse uh, aka submachine two so we just have to pick up this crystal here and go to the left, go up these stairs, and just like in Submachine 2, there's a secret on the chair right here. As a matter of fact, this is the last secret of this game. And unfortunately, this whole area is blocked off, but of course, this isn't supposed to be a big game. Those come later on, like Submachine 10 and Submachine Universe, where they connect multiple areas. In the meantime, though, we go to 2-1. And of course, that isn't to say that a Submachine 4 didn't dabble in it as well from with locations from previous games. As you can tell, that is a bit of a theme throughout this series. But what we have to do here, as you can see, this is black and white, and this is white and black, so this will not open anything up. What we have to do, we have to get both to be white on one side to open up that respective side. So now we go through here and go through here. And here's where that light bulb comes in handy. And we see here missing light bulb in 2, 1. And now here's where we get to use our code. So in this case, these symbols are the same. And of course, these do change every game. OK, let's see if I remembered that. And you just hit the symbols, of course, and then hit this screw at the bottom. And now we get into a very submachine zero looking location here. And we use this lead casting right here instead of the gems that were used in the uh, Zero game. And there we go. That is our final wisdom gem. And now we are free to leave this location entirely. So we just have to go back out. Again, press it on both sides. So now the white is on the left for both of them. And now we just go to zero, zero. And after coming out here, we go back to this teleporter, and as you can see, 747 is our next location. And if we go left, we find it to be completely blocked off. So we just want to go to the right here, open this, 
And we can close this. And now we get to put in our three crystals. And now, there we go. So now we choose to go to the secret location, of course, and we read this note here. Again, you can always pause to read it, but basically we just unlock one new area for each secret we got. So here's that. Then we go to the next secret. Now over here, and now for our last area. And this one is basically just a teaser to Submachine 6. So now that is all of the secrets, so we go all the way to the left. You are able to return back to the game if you'd like, for example if you miss some secrets or you just want to walk around lo the locations, but in this case here, we are completely done. So that was uh, Submachine 5 The Root. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much for watching and have a great night.